Hello children, let's start with ecosystem. So our today's new topic is food chain. So food chain is the linear sequence of organisms in which each organism takes the lower member and is itself eaten by the next higher member. So kids, it's just a game of eat and be eaten. So see over here an example like grasshopper. Grasshopper is lower whereas frog is higher in this food chain. Okay. So frog eats grasshopper. But snake is higher than frog. So snake eats frog. Okay. In this way. Now the next is food web. In food web, see, it's a network of several interconnecting food chains. Over here, you can see like vegetation, grass or whatever, grasshopper, frog, fox, vegetation, rabbit, eagle, vegetation, red, fox. So over here, you can see two, three food chains are there, but it's a network. Because in jungle, there is no specific rule that like frog will eat only grasshopper. Okay? There is no fixed rule. So, they have lots of choices. Like see over here. Uh, fox. If frog is not there, fox can eat red. If red is not there, can eat rabbit okay and if grasshopper is not there fox can eat uh, frog okay so in this way so this food web provides alternates so many alternate are there is that clear so now see what are the advantages of food webs food webs provide alternative foods like fox can feed on rat if rats are not there fox can feed on rabbit yeah then second advantage ensure food webs ensure better chances of survival okay because if rat is not there fox can eat rabbit and survive then food webs provide more stability to an ecosystem. Okay. So these are some advantages of food webs. Now food pyramids. Any figure that has a large base. Over here see kids large base which continuous narrowing over here the next stage. Okay, you can see it is narrow. So, narrowing at each level upwards. Okay, you can see. And finally, ending as a small point. Okay, so this type of figure is called food pyramids. There are two types of food pyramids. There are two types of food pyramids. Pyramid of numbers and pyramid of biomass. So see kids, first pyramid of numbers. Over here you can see um, grass twig in millions. Then the next level which is narrower, deers. But they are in hundreds. Okay, and this final level okay point um, tigers are there and they are in dozens is that clear this is called pyramid of numbers okay pyramid is a structure like this very famous in egypt okay now the next pyramid of biomass you see pyramid of biomass Grass 
over here you can see maximum then the next narrow level ds but they are lesser than graph then this final point least tigers are least is that clear so this is pyramid of biomass so kids i hope you understood food pyramids and types of food pyramids so we will continue with some new terms in our next video thank you